If people can't read and write, you can't see the gap. You don't even realise there is a gap because you don't have that level of analytical skill without being able to read and write. But at a bare minimum, Aboriginal people 15 years and over uh, have low literacy in English. Multiplex had a number of philanthropic ideas happening around the country in different states, different projects. And we were thinking about, rather than multiple small things, could we do one big thing that was more national that could have a real impact? We were doing lots of uh, tendering at the time, particularly in some engineering and infrastructure work, where we had significant requirements in the bid for Indigenous participation. And not unsurprisingly, there are a number of contractors all trying to fight for the same pool of resources. And we sort of thought, how are we going to do something a little bit different? Um, at that time, we were introduced to Jack Beetson. What's the best legacy we could possibly leave in communities? How do we leave something bigger behind? And I said, well, believe it or not, probably the best thing you can do for Aboriginal people and Aboriginal communities is adult literacy. Part of the big problem was that if people have low literacy, they can't get a white car. And construction is the biggest employer of Aboriginal men in Australia. It's over 10,000 Aboriginal men employed in the construction industry. The light bulb moment that if we could do something way, way, way up the stream to help the literacy of, um, of Indigenous people in remote communities, that that was going to flow through to provide uh, you know, future resources that we would not otherwise be able to get. So we started the program in New South Wales and there was support from a number of communities and that's a key differentiator of this program. So we get invited to the community, it's not us wanting to run a program, it's the community asking us to run it. We train people in the community to do the teaching in their community. So when we finish, our job is done. It's had this astonishing success rate. Now in those communities, other providers of, of basic literacy programs are graduating people at a rate of 5 or 10% at best. And the lowest graduation rate we've had is 43. So even at that rate, it's still four times higher than anyone else does. Anyone in Multiplex who hears about this program um, immediately is proud. It was very different to what we're typically doing you now out on building sites. I've never heard an ill word said about the programs. For me, it's been one of the best things I've ever been involved in. I think not only being supported, um, it's acknowledged you know, by one of the biggest construction companies in Australia. It is just so rewarding. You literally see lights come on when people get the gist of, of reading and writing. You can tell the moment they get the concept and write that first sentence.